Hello and welcome to Point of View. For years after that setback, Chandrayaan 3 will aim to do what Chandrayaan 2 couldn't. As the excitement build over the upcoming Indian moon mission, Chandrayaan 3, the encapsulated payload fairing containing the lunar spacecraft has been integrated with the LVM-3 rocket. We are now in the final stretch of launching the moon mission. The next stop is the second launch pad of Satish Dhawan Space Center. The vehicle could be moved to the launch pad on Friday or Saturday. Here's the video of the stacking of the Chandrayaan-3 payload on the mighty launch vehicle LVM-3. The Indian Space Research Organization will launch the ambitious Chandrayaan-3 mission to the moon not earlier than July 14 from the Satish Dhawan Space Center in Sriharikota. The spacecraft will embark on a nearly two-month-long journey to the moon at the end of which it will attempt a soft landing on the lunar surface. While ISRO has successfully launched lunar missions in the past, landing on the moon is a different ball game altogether, something which the entire country witnessed when the Chandrayaan-2 lander and rover crashed on the moon in 2019. For years after that setback, Chandrayaan-3 will aim to do what Chandrayaan-2 couldn't. However, the moon is not gonna make it easy. So why is the moon so challenging? For starters, landing on the moon requires multiple high-tech systems to align precisely, functioning together like a well-oiled machine. These include pinpoint navigation guidance, accurate flight dynamics, clear terrain imagery, perfectly timed thruster firings, and ultimately, the ability to decelerate at the right moment and at the right speed to reach that precise landing spot. One wrong step and the mission is over. Experts say that once a moonbound lander separates from the propulsion module and begins its descent towards the lunar surface, it must carefully control both its descent speed and the rate at which it swings sideways. The lander's speed needs to be reduced autonomously to 3 meters per second to ensure a soft landing. Thrusters will be fired to achieve this reduction in speed and control the lander's orientation during descent. While the moon lacks an atmosphere, it does have gravity, about a sixth of Earth's. Understanding the peculiarities of lunar gravity is crucial for planning and executing successful moon missions. The reduced gravitational force necessitates even more precise control of the descent rate, as there is less natural deceleration. This puts the burden of landing on the lander's thrusters which must fire for the right duration and with the right force. Failure to manage the spacecraft's descent speed appropriately can lead to rapid and potentially disastrous end to the mission. The moon's surface has been bombarded for millions of years with foreign objects which created vast craters and loosely held regolith. This poses the greatest challenge for landing. The terrain within the landing radius plays a crucial role in achieving a successful touchdown. Chandrayaan-3 is equipped with two lander hazard detection and avoidance cameras, data from which will be used to make the final decision on where to land. While the decision-making data will be sent to mission control, the actual decision will be taken by the lander itself because of the time it takes to relay data between the craft and Earth. And that is what makes lunar landing so challenging. The moon may appear serene and peaceful in the night sky, it is a treacherous celestial body filled with several mysterious challenges. Chandrayaan-3 will have to overcome these hurdles to secure its place in the exclusive club of nations that have achieved the moon landing feat successfully. That's a wrap. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.